Michael Behenna has been released from U.S. disciplinary barracks. Our Adam Kemp and Sarah Phipps are traveling with the former U.S. Army First Lieutenant as he returns to Edmond after being released today, Friday, March 14th, having served five years in Leavenworth for killing an Iraqi. He struggled with his words when he sat down with us for a quick interview. Motion, it's hard to describe. I mean, it's, it's hard to put in words. It's, it's tough, you know. Uh, seeing Fort Leavenworth for the first time, you know, when when, uh, uh, when I got locked up, and was sent to Leavenworth. It was, it was one or two o'clock in the morning, so I didn't get to see what the post looked like. And, and the only thing I've seen for the past five years is, is uh, concrete and a little bit of grass, fence, and razor wire. And so this morning, when they put me on the van. It took me to meet up with you guys. Like, uh, that emotion is, it's hard to describe. It, it's hard to put into words, but uh, it's a, it was a good feeling. And then to see everybody, you know, all the family there, friends, uh, the supporters, people I love and care about. It's, just, it's, a, it's a day that I won't forget. I didn't want to leave them. But at the same time, I did. So, like you said, it was it was bittersweet. Uh, just because I mean, those guys they become family. Uh, but I told them that that I'm gonna do what I can to make sure people don't forget about them. He's now 30 years old and hoping to pick up his life where he left off. He was convicted in 2009 of unpremeditated murder in a combat zone. On May 16, 2008, just a few weeks after an improvised bomb attack killed two members of Bahena's seven-man platoon, Bahena killed known Al-Qaeda operative Ali Mansour while questioning him. Bahena claimed self-defense, but military officials ruled against him. Originally, he was sentenced to 25 years, but the U.S. Army Clemency and Parole Board reduced Bahena's sentence to 15 years in January of 2010. This was the first year Bahena was eligible for parole. Stay with the OklahomaNewsOK.com for more coverage.